you landed on the Coach JV Podcast. This is a raw, authentic podcast, helping you understand the power you have inside of you to accomplish great things. I'm just going to warn you, if you're sensitive, this is not the podcast for you. But if you're ready to rise, let's go. Warriors, rise! This podcast is designed for those who are ready to draw a line in the sand, become more committed to the pain of change and staying the same, and who are ready to rewire their brain. Remember, what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, you can see the tone has changed a little bit with the podcast. I'm, I'm slowing things down a little bit. I want to be more tactical. I want to share a little bit more about how, like, how do you do things, right? But I also want to talk about motivation and inspiration. And it's really just going to be an expression. Hi, sweetie. It's really just going to be an expression of my, are you good? So my son just walked in. It really just an expression. See, it's just me, dude. I don't edit these things. I don't, this is just me. It's just me. Being a father is my number one thing. Anyways, but um, it's just an expression of me. That's all the podcast is. It's nothing fancy. But what I want to talk about, what if? Like, what if, guys? So I hear this all the time. Jeremy May and I, as coaches, we have a private coaching program called Generational Shifter. Um, and we hear all, well, what, what if this? What if? What if? What if? What if it does work out? What if it does work out for you? That's what you need to start thinking. What if it does work out? When I left corporate America in 2017, I'll never forget it. When I called my mom, I could feel her heart drop. I'm like, I'm leaving corporate. She's like, oh, it's like, what, what if, what if it doesn't work out? And guess what? It didn't. But what if it does? What if it does work out for you? What if starting that business does work out? I was just talking to my son about this. We went and worked out in our gym today, the 3T Fitness Gym. And I said to him, I said, you know what, son? You know, it's so interesting. We're standing right here. I don't remember exactly how I said it, but he's looking at me in the eyes. And I said, you know what? Do you realize that when we built this gym, I ran out of all of our money? I said, do you remember when we moved back in with grandma and grandma? It was a cool moment. This was just a couple hours ago. I said, do you remember when we moved back? You know, he was three years old. He didn't understand what was happening. Now he gets it. But he was a three, he was baby. He was three years old. And I said, when you were a little boy, we moved back in with grandma and grandpa. I said, I ran out of all my money. He goes, all your money? I said, everything. Everything. I didn't explain to him that I had I kept my crypto and stuff like that. I said, we moved back with grandma and grandpa. And I said, you know what's cool now? This company right here is a seven-figure company. We have another company that is now projecting seven figures. We have another company that is already projecting seven figures. It's already almost halfway there with the shortest amount of time we've ever been there before. It's a company that we launched with, we're a a group invested into. And I'm like, that's why you never fucking give up because it was the, what if, what if it doesn't work? What if it would, everybody kept telling me, what if, what if, what, what if it does, what if it does work out? Because the 100% guarantee you're going to have is you're going to fucking fail. That's a 100% guarantee. I'll give you three things that you have to do in life. You got to pay your taxes. You're going to die and you're going to fail. All else doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're going to fail. It's part of the process. You have to fail. To build muscle, you have to tear the muscle down. To build a better relationship, you got to go through some hard times. Think about that. As my son is going through jiu-jitsu, going through jiu-jitsu, the next move, you got to learn, you get hurt. You got to get up, you get down, you got to get beat up a little bit. That's just how life works. So if you sit there all day saying, what if, what, why don't you start saying, what if it works out? What if it does work out? Because it will. It will work out the way it's supposed to when you start taking risk, number one. Number two is when you start being grateful for what you have, you'll get more of what you want. Number three, when you start being truly, truly authentic and who you are truly meant to be. And number four, you go at it with unconditional love without expectations. It will fucking work out exactly the way it's supposed to. And you can say, what if it does work out when people come at you and say, well, what about your safe job? What if they fire you from your safe job? As Jim Carrey said about his father, his father never went after his dreams. What if, what if, and his father got fired from his safe job as an accountant. So what I have for you today is what if it does work out? What if you do make it? What if you can find that person of your dreams? What if you can be financially free? What if you can be healthy and take control of your eating? What if you can control that lust? What if? Start saying what if in a positive way instead of what if it doesn't work out? Because what if is what if. 
I didn't make any sense what I just said, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm fired up, guys. It's time to start what effing our way. What if it does work out? Because it will. It will work out exactly the way it's supposed to if you go all in and you start to, like I said, be grateful for what you have, get more of what you want, be truly authentic, be truly, truly authentic, and be unconditionally loving without expectations. So for you, what if it does work out? And for me, it did. Everybody doubted me. Nobody thought it was going to happen. And in the physical world for about three years there, it didn't look like it was going to happen. But I always said, what if it does work out? And it did. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go. Love you guys.